Hey guys, welcome back. So I have got a video for you guys on the Nordstrom anniversary sale. So I went through and dug through the preview and picked out a bunch of different things that just kind of stood out to me. So I have lots of different things. So I've got some collages in Like to Know It. Um, I'm gonna do a blog post. So definitely check those two places for more pics. But I thought I would do a video and just kind of highlight my top ones. I think I've got something around like 20 or something like that. So kind of top picks in this video. I think about some beauty, definitely some shoes, definitely some outerwear. And yeah, so I'm just going to show pictures on the screen, let you know my thoughts on them and just do a little video on the anniversary sale. A little note on this sale. I think it's a great sale. Do I think it's the end all be all best sale ever? I think it's a really good one, but I don't think it's like, you know, it's not worth losing sleep over is what I would say. I think it's a fun time to get some great deals, but not like lose any sleep over anything like that. So anyway, I just wanted to do a little helpful video for you guys. So let's get to it. Okay, so like I mentioned, shoes are one of my favorite things that they feature in this sale. I love getting boots during this sale because they've got really good quality boots and they have them at a nice discount. So this pair right here, oh my goodness, I love this so much. I love the style of it with the pointy toe to it, the kind of blocky looking heel. I love this kind of rich brown snakeskin pattern. I love this whole look. It's a little bit edgy, but also a little bit country, neutral in the colors. It's just good. So I actually picked this boot in like three different patterns. I would say I think the first one is my favorite with the dark brown kind of almost rich gray taupey colors. So I think that combo is probably my favorite, but I really like this lighter one too with the kind of tan and brown. Um, I love the kind of cho more chocolatey um, edges to it. I think that's a really pretty detail. And I like that it's got that stretchy sort of fabric there. So it looks like it'll be really comfortable to walk in. And then this is the neutral color. I mean, talk about pretty much go with everything. Um, and this is the kind of boot that you can wear in so many different ways. You can wear it with, you know, flares or boot cut jeans, but you can wear it with a skirt and it looks really cute. Even with um, shorts, like cut off rippy shorts or something, and even like a cardigan so you can kind of layer and go into fall. So yeah, just a great neutral go with so many different things sort of a boot. So this leather jacket is a pricier item, but it's at a good discounted price. And I feel like a leather jacket is one that you will have for years. I mean, the one that I have, I bought it years ago and I still love it. It just, there's so many different ways you can wear it. What I like about this one too, is it looks like it has a little bit of texture to it. So it doesn't look very flat and kind of stiff looking. It looks a little bit more movable and just a slightly worn in looking, but in a really good way. So I like that about it. I like that it has a little bit of edge to it, but also a little bit of a classic look too. So you can wear it in different ways because of that. Okay, this shirt, this is totally something that I love to pretty much live in in the fall and winter. It's just so cozy and you can wear it in different ways. You can tie it up, you can button it up, you can wear it over things as kind of a cardigan topper. I just love this kind of easy, effortless sort of a look, especially if you have your hair all done and your makeup done, but then you've got this kind of more relaxed sort of a, a shirt on. You, I love the look of it that it looks like you went and grabbed your husband's shirt out of his closet from 20 years ago, but in a really good way. So I love these kinds of, you know, pieces and I just pretty much live in them. So definitely these are a pick. These cardigans are really good and very affordable. They have several different cardigans in the sale and a lot of them look super cozy. I definitely have several picks, you know, in my collages and in my blog posts. So definitely have other cardigan picks, but I really like this one because it comes in different colors. I love this green and it's just really affordable. So it's a great basic cardigan that's still cozy. I like the kind of um, ribbed look to it also. It has a little bit of texture to it. So I think it makes it a little bit different because of that. I like that it, it just gives it more interest. So good basic cardigan, but that has a little bit of something extra to it. These sneakers are super cute. They're very golden goose looking to me, at least in that same kind of vein. Um, I love the zipper on the side. It looks cozy on the inside. And then the little snakeskin detail. 
So I just think these are super fun. You can wear them with a dress. You can wear them with jeans. You can put them with a cardigan. I mean, pretty much they go with anything. And I like that this is that super expensive look, but for a lot less, especially even during the sale. This seems like a really good deal. So it says it's $170 value for $114. So still pricey, um, but a good discount to it. But I love this product. The Sunday Riley Good Jeans is one of my favorite acid treatments for the face. Um, I've tried different ones and this is one of my very favorites and I've gone through several bottles of it too. So I definitely have used it quite a bit to know that it's definitely one of my favorites. I can tell a difference in my skin, smoothness, just anti-aging properties. Um, and I don't know, I noticed anti-aging differences in my skin after I use this. So yeah, good discounted price too. It looks like you get a larger size and a smaller size and they call it the home and away kit. So you have your big size for home and your smaller size for away. This top is so pretty. Now it is around $50, which is more than I would normally spend on a top or a blouse, but I feel like for this one, it would be worth it because it's that fancier look to it. So this is one that you could wear to a nice event, you know, with slacks or, or even a skirt, or you could wear it with you know, dark jeans for a date night, or you could even wear it with kind of rippy jeans and sort of do that contrasting look of super fancy with edgy and relaxed. So I think it's one that you can wear in different ways and get a lot of use out of. It just looks really pretty. I love the blousy um, kind of balloon sleeves to it, the scalloped edge to it, that cute little detail around the neck. And I love it, it's black. I think it comes in different colors, but I just love the black. I think that's really pretty. I love these tops from Free People. I'm pretty sure this is the same one that I've had in a different color in years past. So I really like this neutrally tan color. And then I also really like it in the black. It's just this slouchy, oversized, easy, um, sort of a sweater. And that's definitely what I love to live in in the fall and winter. You can just wear it off the shoulder. I love to layer it with lots of funky jewelry. Um, just a good, basic, cozy sort of a top. So I have several pairs of boots in this top, however many we're talking about right now, grouping that kind of look a little bit similar that just are, um, well, you'll see. So this first pair is a kind of alligator looking texture to it. I love the buckle detail to it. Love the chunky heel. It's got this kind of um, edgy sort of a sole to it. So I like that about it. Um, it just it just looks edgy. And y'all know that I love edgy style. So this is totally that. I like that the heel doesn't look super high, but it's got a little bit of height to it. Um, and yeah, just love the black and alligator look to it. Another cozy flannelly sort of a top. I This came in, I think, two different color options. I really like this one, the red and the black. It just Again, it's just cozy, you can wear it open, you can button it up, you can wear it over things. So same thing I said about the other ones. So just another really great basic um, cozy top. These boots totally remind me of Doc Martens. They bring me back. This is not gonna be for everybody because they are a, a very particular sort of a style to them, but I love that they look just kind of chunky and you know, a little bit manly. Um, they kind of tie up so they're more of a, a high top sort of a boot, but they've got that just kind of chunkiness to it. You know what I mean? This wouldn't be my pick um, out, I don't think, out of the three. I still like this pair and I can picture how I would wear it and it would be with like a flannelly sort of a shirt, um, funky jewelry. I would do fun makeup. So that's probably how I would wear them. So I really like them, but th it's not my pick of the three similar pairs. So I'll get to the third one in a second. Beautiful pair of over the knee boots. So good um, basic over the knee boot. I say basic because I don't really, I think over the knee boots are a little bit of a statement in and of themselves. But as far as over the knee boots go, these are not overly adorned with details or texture or anything like that. They just look like a good suede sort of a material. So basic in that way that they're not super adorned or detailed. So I think that makes them a little bit more wearable, but over the knee boots are still a statement, but I think they're so pretty. Now these boots I love. So out of the three that I've just mentioned in the last little bit that look kind of similar, these are my favorite of the three because I've had a similar pair like this and I wore them a lot. I like the heel to these. I like the 
gritty almost looking um, sole to them. It's got a little bit of whatever that word would be at the, along the bottom. I love the little detail up around the ankle uh, that they, I also love that they um, lace up. So it, there's just a lot of pretty detail to it where it looks like a combat boot, but with feminine added detail. So I love that contrast of you know, edgy and feminine. So I feel like these totally have that. Now this sweatshirt just draws me in for some reason. It's a cropped sweatshirt, which normally I'm not a big fan of cropped, but I feel like for some reason this would work. I'd probably wear it with high-waisted jeans. Well, I know I would wear it with high-waisted jeans, but probably the highest pair that I could find where it really didn't show very much in my stomach. And I don't know, something about it looks a little bit 80s or 90s to me. So that's why it kind of draws me in. And it also looks really cozy. This just looks like a good lip gloss trio. So these are the MAC lip glasses and they're minis. So y'all know I love mini makeup because it's cute, it's tiny. You can put it in your purse, it's good for travel. So I love that you get three different options. They look like really pretty colors, a pretty pink, a neutrally kind of a color, and then a lighter peachy sort of a shade it looks like. So all just pretty wearable shades. This is one of my favorite perfumes, the Versace Bright Crystal. Smells so good, it's fresh, it's feminine, it's not super overpowering, it's just good. It's one of my favorites. So you get a larger size and a smaller size. So it says it's $155 value, so that's really good. And also, I mean, for me, it takes me a while to go through a perfume, but really for something like this, my thought would be you could get the set and then you have one for a gift and then one for yourself. So yeah, good deal. And the last pick I have to share with you guys is this bag. This looks so vintage to me with the kind of corduroy looking texture and fabric to it. It looks like it's from the 70s. Um, there are, I believe, three different color options in this, a black, a green, and then kind of a camel color. I really love them all, but if I had to pick one, the camel would be my favorite. So it looks like one that you can just throw over your shoulder and is you know a good size that you can fit some stuff in it, but it's not a huge oversized bag. So just a good everyday sort of a bag that has a really cool vintage look to it. Okay guys, so those are all the goodies that I have to share with you, just kind of my top picks from the sale. Like I said, my favorite things to get in the sale are kind of like the cardigans, the jackets, boots, just those great basics that you're gonna get a lot of use and wear out of but especially boots. Those are always my favorite things to get in this sale. So I hope that you guys really enjoyed this video and I hope it was helpful for you. Please give a thumbs up if it was and let me know down below what are kind of some of your top picks or of the things that I showed, what was your favorite? Let me know that down below. Ask me any questions that you have, I'm happy to answer those. Please subscribe to my channel if you're not already and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.